In the early 20th century, the prevailing model of the atom was known as the plum pudding model or the Thomson's model. According to this model, atom was thought to be composed of diffused positively charged pudding with negatively charged electron embedded like plum within it. There was no distinct nucleus. This model was later replaced by the Rutherford's model, which proposed the existence of concentrated positively charged nucleus at the atom center, fundamentally altering our understanding of atomic structure. According to Rutherford's hypothesis, atom is primarily composed of empty space with a minuscule dense nucleus at its core. He envisioned this nucleus as containing nearly all of the atom's mass and carrying a positive electric charge. Electrons, in contrast, were believed to orbit around the nucleus at a distance akin of planets orbiting around the sun. The experimental setup for Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment. This involved firing alpha particles, which is positively charged particle, at a thin sheet of gold foil. Gold foil was chosen to be made incredibly thin, just a few atoms thick. This foil is placed in the center of the apparatus. Alpha particles were generated from a radioactive source and directed towards the gold foil. Detector screen surrounding the foil were used to capture the scattered alpha particles. This arrangement allowed the scientist to observe how alpha particles interacted with the atoms in the gold foil and provided critical insights into the atom structure. Let's look at the surprising results. The results were astonishing. While most of the alpha particles pass through the gold foil with minimal deflection, a small fraction exhibited significant deflections, even bouncing back at large angles. This unexpected outcome contradicted the prevailing belief that all alpha particles would pass with minor deviations. Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment showed that most of the atom is empty space, with a tiny, dense nucleus responsible for strong deflection, indicating the existence of a concentrated positive charge at the atom spot. This discovery laid the foundation for the modern understanding of 